Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I am at Coranda at the Butterfly House and we are reading Lissy the Butterfly, written by Eva Marie Welsh, a local to the Cairns area. No blurb in this book. Lissy the Butterfly, I wonder what this book is about. In the tropical rainforest, Bobby and the other tree kangaroos were relaxing in the branches. Suddenly, they spotted something crawling along the branch. Mum, what is that? asked Bobby. Shh, that is the caterpillar of the Ulysses butterfly, she whispered. Look, there is one fluttering just over there. Her name is Lissy. Enjoying the sunshine, Lissy danced through the air. Bobby was startled by the sudden flashes of blue. He watched her land on the brown cask of a big cassowary. It was Cassie's dad. Cassie was very curious about the blue creature and asked many questions. Her father explained that it was a Ulysses butterfly, one of Australia's largest butterflies. Cassie was amazed by its curled tongue. It uncurls up for feeding, and it is used like a drinking straw, said her dad. Cassie moved closer to get a better look, but Lissy flew away. Lissy discovered a rainforest creek and followed it along. In amongst the reeds, the re she rested on something she thought was a rock. <gasps> Suddenly it moved. It was the snout of Nipper's mother. Not a good choice for a place to rest. Lissy quickly decided to return to the rainforest. Good plan, Lissy, good plan. Through the trees she saw a glint of blue shining in the sunlight. It was Big Blue, a male Ulysses butterfly. Soon they became friends. Together they fed and flitted through the rainforest where they saw some of Lissy's friends, which we're seeing today. Those other butterflies were also feeding on the flowers of the rainforest plants. Lorry, the rainbow lorikeet, watched them from above. They are big time wasters. You just want to stay in here all day watching them. Lissy used her antenna to sniff out a suitable tree on which to lay her eggs. Later the tiny caterpillars would hatch. They would feed on juicy leaves and grow larger. This is called molting. The caterpillar walks out of its old skin. When the beautiful green and white caterpillar has shed its skin for the last time, it attaches itself to a protected leaf. This last skin hardens to form the pupa and inside the caterpillar slowly changes. After a while the pupa opens and a dazzling butterfly, just like its parents, climbs out. It clings to the pupa and stretches its wings to unfold them. The wings have to dry before the new butterfly is ready to fly away. Then it will feed, find a mate and lay its own eggs to grow into more beautiful Ulysses butterflies. Now that was actually a special read for a special friend of mine's daughter, Taylor. That one was for you because I know how much you love butterflies. All right, thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. Before I go, I'm just going to pan around and show you the beautiful butterflies in here. You really need to come and see this place if you can. It is just beautiful. They're all feeding on the nectar. This is one of my favourite spots to come when I'm in Cairns. Thanks for joining me and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve and I couldn't think of a better way to spend the day other than being out on the water, of course. All right, see you next time. Bye.